Well, hello everybody and welcome. My name is Susan McCoy and I wanna welcome you to our virtual C4 quarterly event uh, and happy first day of fall. It's been absolutely gorgeous here in Kansas City. I hope it's been beautiful where you are too. Well, I wanna thank you for connecting with us here tonight. We didn't know if we'd be virtual again, but here we are. So we thank you for that. And we thank you, God, for connecting us with technology and our amazing behind the scenes people, Tasha Bach and Amy Duncan, who have gotten all of the strings pulled to make sure all of this comes together and works so beautifully. And so I want to just thank you because we're coming to you from across the nation. We've got people popping in here and there. And I want to take this opportunity to explain what C4 actually stands for. So it stands for Cash, Color, Cadillacs, and Choices. And so at the end of tonight, we're going to do a cash giveaway. We're giving away a $100 pink stimulus package, and that's going to go to one lucky new consultant who chooses to be a part of our company. And we so are excited to see that. So stay tuned to the end so you know how to get into that drawing. There's also a color segment that's going to be taught by two-time million-dollar, soon-to-be national sales director, Heather Daniel Kent. All right. And then there's Cadillacs. Okay. So you just have to know that the directors that are on represent Cadillacs all over the US, especially Kansas City and Missouri and Kansas as well. And uh, then there are lots of Cadillacs in the making going on right now. So just know you're a part of a miracle in motion. I can promise you that. And then there's gonna be choices. Um, we are gonna get to hear from Pink Escalade Cadillac Driving National Sales Director, Pam Shaw. And she's gonna be sharing her journey and the Mary Kay story. And I just want you to just feel all warm and lovely all together tonight to get to hear a little bit about this tonight as well. And so guests, make sure you stay tuned to the end because you're gonna have choices and options, You know whether you wanna be a part of our company, whether you wanna stay a customer, either way is totally great. We always say we need great customers too. Um, but also you're gonna to get to have the opportunity to win a free bag. Just for being a guest on tonight, there will be a, a little number to text to at the very end with a code word, special code word, that you'll wanna stay tuned for as well. And you'll get to be uh, either getting the black coach um, backpack or the pink Kate Spade bag, either one. Um, and we also want to say that C4 is a huge opportunity to recognize the success across the Kansas City area. So we'll be recognizing star consultants, women who have consistently been working their business, um, selling product and building their teams, as well as the movers and shakers of Kansas City, uh, women who have been moving up the career path and taking others along the journey with them. And so I want you to just sit back I want you to feel the power. I want you to enjoy the connection uh, that we're bringing to you tonight. And without further ado, on with the show. Well, hello, hello, everybody. I'm National Sales Director Jill Davis, and I just want to welcome you. I want to welcome you into um, just a glimpse of our pink family, this amazing, amazing family of ours. And welcome to C4. And um, I want to hear where you're from. So type in the comments where you're from. And I promise you tonight, you are going to be so blessed. You're going to be so glad that you took your time to be a part of this um, and get to learn a little bit more, get to hear a little bit more, get to learn a little makeup tutorial, get to hear from the amazing Inner Circle National Sales Director, Pam Shaw. Oh, she is going to knock your socks off. So I promise you, this is probably the most fun you can have anywhere legally on a Tuesday night during a pandemic. So we're so glad that you have taken your time to join us. And again, welcome. I'm going to turn the mic back over to Susan. All right. Well, we are going to start off with some recognition. And so you're going to be getting to meet our star consultants. Now, we can't bring them all across the screen, actually, because there's quite a few of them. Um, but I want to explain what the star consultant program is. You know, star consultant was established by Mary Kay Ash herself in 1975. So we are in 45 years of excellence with the star consultant program. And basically, Mary Kay wanted to give women a railroad track to run on quarterly. So this is a quarterly program. So actually, all the women that you're going to get to see the names of tonight are not only first quarter stars, but we're going to call them all stars because you are all stars until you're not. So you just are, you know, being a four quarter star is what it's all about. So starting off strong quarter one is very, very important. And so this is based on consistent sales and working their business full circle, sharing the product. And as you're doing that, you share the opportunity, which gives you bonus points, which is super awesome too. Um, but you're going to get to meet the women right now who have been reveling in the rewards of fabulous prizes, recognition, and of course, all of that translate into mo money. So without further ado, let's congratulate and meet our first quarter star consultants who are tracking all-star.
All right, my name is Roxy and I'm just gonna introduce you to our little segment next of makeup application. You're gonna love this part. It's always one of the favorite things of the evening, one of about 14 favorite things. But um, we're gonna take a little break because we do have more stars to recognize in a little bit, but we're gonna take a little break and watch our, our makeup segment by Heather Daniel Kent. But let me tell you a little bit about Heather first. So Heather Daniel Kent started Mary Kay in 2004, back when she was 24 seven on call social worker in the Juvenile Justice Division, State of Missouri. Master's degree, over $65,000 in education and credit card um, debt, and a new fiance. So she was longing for a big life change, and she was looking for more freedom, more money, more positive friends, and more hope. And she found it all in Mary Kay. I remember the day she walked into my studio. Within a few weeks, she matched her income, not too difficult in that, in that arena, and resigned from her career. Four months later, she earned her first car, and she became a director, and she's now driving her 10th free car, a 2021, okay, 21, we're not there yet, right? 21, pink Cadillac XTX, XT6, I love to say all that. So give her a, a round of applause, if you will, for that. Heather's affectionately known as HDK, we, that's what we call her. She's been married to Frank for 15 years, and she has a fat house full of channels. You know, those are children that are animals. They have two crazy dogs, a shy cat, a messy bunny, an exoli stole. I can't say that if it's a fish, um, and an African tortoise. Heather and Frank are avid fitness enthusiasts, dedicated movie buffs, and self-appointed foodies. Heather and her unit, the Happies, have earned 10 unit clubs, including six Circle of Excellence, all expense paid trips to Maui, Venice, Rome, an Alaskan cruise, Chile, and Argentina, Oahu and Lanai, Hawaii, and this year they would have gone to Scotland had it not been for COVID. This year, the best thing is she finished her second million dollar year in Mary Kay. So one of her favorite moments was being crowned runner up to the queen of, queen of um, in leading third in the nation stage with her national Jan theft, which was third highest unit in the nation. And one of her favorite Mary Kay moments was being crowned runner up the queen um, that year. Heather is known for her love of Mary Kay products. You will find her all over YouTube with color videos and new skin care regimes, such as multi-masking. She kind of made that famous for us. Um, watch Executive Senior Sales Sales Director, Executive Senior Sales Director, Heather Daniel Kent and her offspring directors to debut the fun national area this year. And what I always say about Heather is she's going to bring all the things that you're seeing out there together for you for the fall. So Heather, take it away. Hey everybody, it's Heather Daniel Kent. I am going to do something a little bit different for you guys today. I figured since I'm not live and I'm not on stage with you and I'm not working on a model that I could do and have access to Instagram. So what we're going to do is we are going to talk about the fall 2020 trends. And you know, I love to talk about them, but I never get to show you like multiple things. So we're going to do that today. And of course, the research is on Instagram. <laughs> so you guys can go play and check out. We're going to talk about four different trends. But at first, I want to tell you that now more than ever, people like all the research I did, all people are like fresh start, fresh new thing, experimenting. Um, people are just real sick of concealer and mascara, which is what we've been doing for six months. So I love the excitement of something new. I love the excitement of experimenting. So I've taken some kind of wild trends, not wild, but you know, a little bit out there trends and really made them more wearable. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about two-toned eyeshadow. Now, this is one of my favorite trends. We have talked about it before because, you know, I learned about it like 10 years on America's Next Top Model. Like that's where I get, that's where I used to get all my information. But this right here is something that anybody can do. Now, let me break it down for you. She's got purple, um, a little bit of tan, and then your bright blue green underneath. Now, you don't have to go out that, that outrageous. If you want to, go, absolutely go. But what I like about this one is one of the trends we're going to talk about is orange and pink, super hot right now. You can do that, or you can do just a basic brown, um, shimmer, gold, like something very neutral, and then come down here and pop it with green, pop it with navy, pop it like any of our emerald or evening navy, or um, this is like I'm wearing today um, is that 
radiance blue, like those kinds of things. So let me show you on mine, and I know we're in my webcam, but I've got the pink and the orange, which is one of the trends we'll talk about, but then I've got the radiant blue underneath. So you can even do something, like I said, neutral brown, pink, something like that, and then come over here with some fun. The key here is darker on top, lighter on bottom. So if you're gonna use black eyeliner on the top, use something lighter on the bottom. Don't do like a, you know, are the grays up top and then black down bottom, that won't work. So two-toned eyeshadow, it's fun, it can be outrageous, it can be neutral, it can be whatever you want, and it's very, very wearable. So love it, and it makes your eyes look bigger, so, you know, it adds a little element of fun, which under masks right now, it's time to have some fun. Okay, let me screen share the next one. The next one, let's talk about that pink and orange. Okay, now there's lots of different ways to wear this one. What I love about this is, I mean, this is straight pomegranate right here or rogue rose. Like I dip into our blushes for these kinds of colors all the time. There are no rules, guys. You don't have to put eyes on eyes and cheeks on cheeks. You put cheeks on eyes and eyes on cheeks and like bronzer on eyes and highlighting like crystalline as a highlighter on your cheekbone. There's no rules, it's all made out of the same stuff. Let's rock and roll with it. So this, she's got right here, she's got this bright pink into this shimmery, what they're calling glossy orange. Glossy orange is super, super cool right now. So you can do this with our foil eyeshadows. You can get that super sheen there. You can do it with our liquid eyeshadows. So like right here, I would put the pink, the pink liquid eyeshadow and then I would put something like hot coral or something like that which is what I am personally wearing is the rogue rose and then hot coral on my eyes so you can have a lot of fun with our cheek colors anything like that no holds barred and it's not shimmery it's not going to make my hooded eyes look more hooded it's still going to keep it bright and it's not heavy and you know how I feel about wearability Okay, now next trend, oh, gotta love it, gotta love it. We're gonna come over here, back over here to Instagram. And this is a blue smoky eye. They're really getting away from, the trend is backing off of just that heaviness, the black eyeshadows, the, just that heavy part, and then let's pop it with some color. Now blue, you'll see a lot of blues in fall in general, but it blue right now. It's Pantone's color of the year. Blue is just everywhere. And I mean, look how gorgeous it works here. Like you just get that radiant pop, evening navy. Um, I would always mix it with like a hazelnut or a cinnabar or something like that to give it a little bit of depth and a little bit of grounding. I think you can also, if your skin tone provides it, maybe a little bit darker, then go ahead and put some cashmere haze with it. Go maybe touch a little radiant blue on there. But I love the brightness here, especially paired with that nice nude lip. Okay, so blue smoky eye, super hot, super hot. And one thing, if you want to get that real electric blue, of course, you're using your eye primer on there, you're layering, you're patting instead of you know, like everywhere, especially when you have those bright colors, you have to be super careful of the way that you blend. It is more like a pat. But take your eyeliner, whether it's liquid eyeliner or the gel or even our pencil, and then, so put that on top and bottom, and then you come back over here with that eyeliner brush and really stack that color and get it to really pop in there. That's actually what I did under here to get the radiant blue to really pop is I put a touch of black, um, actually, no, I had Sealy eyeliner under there, and then I put that radiant blue on top of it, so it gave it something to grip onto, so it could intensify. Okay, now my last trend is pretty fun. So, if you are a fan, and how could you not be, oh, let me get on it here. Here we go, okay. If you are a fan of our glosses, and I realize I am biased, but I am telling you what, it's the best lip gloss I've ever worn in my entire life. So one of the trends, thank you, thank you, trend masters here, and thank you, Mary Kay, for giving us the greatest lip gloss at this time, because everything's about gloss. Now, this picture is nude lips, heavy, heavy gloss, heavy shine, which is gorgeous. 
This one is dark, more of that vampy look. This in my mind is very couture all day long, but here's the trend, gloss. So that's that. what I love about that is you see a lot of nudes, but gloss. A lot of bright pinks and oranges, like I told you before, with gloss. Dark with gloss. Like everything is just this super shiny, pretty gloss. And I'm really excited that the forecasters and the trend makers, whoever they may be, uh, didn't just disregard lips right now and just focus on eyes. Of course, that's a tendency with the masking situation right now. But I don't know about you. I love something on my lips. I love the feel, especially of these glosses. Like sheer illusions over everything, like everything. And you can stack the lip glosses. So Evening Berry, get that dark, pretty look and then shine it up with some sheer illusions. So don't be afraid to mix and match there, guys. Have a lot of fun with these fall trends and I miss you guys desperately. Um, I just, yeah, C4, man, I miss you guys. Hopefully we'll see you soon. Um, have fun rocking the trends. Well, let's cheer on our stars at the top of the ladder, the Emerald and Pearl stars. Here we go. All right, congratulations to all of our star consultants. And next up is our winner of the first bag giveaway. Well, congratulations to Laura. We are so proud of all of our star consultants. And so each and every one of your names was entered into that drawing for the designer purse. And so congratulations to Laura, but really congratulations to all of you. I'm Senior Sales Director, Amy Duncan, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about our career path. One of the things that we love about our business and, and about our opportunity with Mary Kay is that if we choose to move up the career path, we get to do it on our own timetable and in our own way. And so um, I'm going to give you a little bit of a snapshot about our career path before we recognize some women who have moved up the career ladder since the last time we were together in June.
So first I want to tell you where we all start. Everyone who starts a Mary Kay business starts as a consultant. And you will see here that a consultant begins by selling the product. And from the very beginning, consultants earn 50% profit on everything that they sell. We love that this is a consumable product. So every morning we celebrate that you, our guests and our customers are washing our cleansers down the drain because since it's consumable, we know that you love it and you're going to need more and the seasons change and the trends change. So we always have a reason to work with product and work with our customers and offer them great customer service. So every consultant starts in sales and there are no quotas. So it's a really great way way to begin a business. Now, pretty soon we discover that this is just too good not to share. And so a consultant might have one or two team members. And when she does, she's called a senior consultant. And a senior consultant begins earning commissions every time her team member places an order with the company. But what I want you to understand is that we are not a multi-level company. So we don't make money out of each other's pockets. When we earn those commissions, they come straight from company profits and not from each other's profits. So we feel really good about sharing our opportunity with each other. Now, when a consultant has three or four active team members, she's called a star team builder. And this is really the first step into leadership. They represent our up and comers. And if we were together, we would have them stand and you would see all the red jackets in the room. And sometimes that's what we call them, red jackets, because it's a really big deal. It's a sign of prestige to get to be in the red jacket and show that you are an up and coming leader in Mary Kay. So this is the true uh, moment of self-promotion to say, I'm going to take a step into leadership. I want to be my own boss. And I really want to start moving up the career path with Mary Kay. And there are no territories. So you might have a cousin who lives in another state or a college roommate or you know a friend who moved away. And that's great. We can build our business all across the country. Now, when you have five to seven active team members, you're called a team leader. And these women are really smart because they have figured out the math and they have figured that they can triple the percentage of their commissions by moving to this level. It's also significant because this is the level in which they can begin to earn the use of a Mary Kay career car. Now, moving right on up to directorship. Some women make the commitment to lead a group of other consultants. And these are our sales directors, and they represent the top 1% of the Mary Kay sales force. This is truly career level leadership. And these women are working with a unit of consultants to mentor them, to educate, to motivate. And they have career uh, executive income potential at this level. And directors have their own career path. So moving on, the job of a director is actually to help consultants reach their full potential and achieve their goals, both in selling and team building. And so directors build other leaders and they move along the director career path. And you can see we're very maternal. So we call them offspring sales directors. So we have senior, future executive, senior, executive, senior, and elite elect elite executive senior sales directors. And these are based on how many offspring sales directors are, each of these leaders has. And there are all sorts of benefits and bonuses along the way. And then finally, at the top of our career ladder is the position of national sales director. And you met Jill Davis earlier, and you're going to meet Pam Shaw in just a little bit. And both of these women have moved to the very top echelon of our company. They're not, not only in earning potential, but also in leadership and in their circle of influence. These women have developed 20 or more offspring sales directors. And so then they form a family of hundreds and thousands, really, of consultants all across the country with whom they work, they mentor, they lead. And yes, there are huge rewards for these women, financial rewards. They have a family security retirement program. But even more than that is the re reward that they have of leadership and influence, because these women are by far in our country, our company, the, the biggest thinkers. They have the biggest heart. They have truly worked this business from the very beginning of the ladder as consultants and moved all the way up 
And now they're at the top of this career ladder and can share and keep passing this on. We're now going to celebrate some women from our KCC4 program who have moved up the career path since the last time we were together in June. So let's celebrate. Congratulations to all of those who, of you who moved up our career ladder, and we can't wait to celebrate you in December. So set your goal now. Decide where you want to be along our career path. Will you move up one level, two levels? Will you move into car production, directorship? We can't wait to celebrate you in December. Make it count. Well, that was fun. We love watching people go up the ladder of success. And it was so fun to applaud you. And like Amy said, we cannot wait to we're together again. And we can actually embrace and really celebrate you. But congratulations to all of you. Well, I have the special privilege, the very much of an honor to introduce to you our featured speaker for the evening, National Sales Director Elite well, she is uh, in her circle. <laughs> She's elite in everything. Pam Shaw from Bowling Green, Kentucky. So I want to tell you a little bit about Pam. So you'll have a little bit of background on this phenomenal woman. And then you're going to understand why we, we stand in awe of her. But Pam became a beauty consultant, Mary Kay, in April of 1986, and then debuted as a director in 1987. She earned the use of her first career car and debuted in that same year as a sales director. Since then, she's driven 17 Mary Kay cars. Count those. 17 Mary Kay cars, 15 of them pink Cadillacs, including the famous Escalade. And she's had the uh, the cute little XLR, you know, the sports car that she actually bought from the company. But there's more. There's more than free cars. Um, she's uh, earned lots of prizes. And I'm going to read some of these to you, but they're a Movado watch, five 4.5 carat diamond rings. I mean, she's dripping in diamonds. Two mink coats, six diamond bar pins. Those are kind of the cool things that we wear up here. Um, and also lots and lots more diamonds on her hands. This is the cool thing. She sat in Mary Kay's throne. How many of you have ever wanted to be a queen and be crowned? She was crowned as queen of her seminar representing her number one unit in the seminar 2020 they completed. So seminar 2020 just passed. They completed their 25th million dollar year. So you can applaud in your in your living room, in your bed, wherever you are uh, for twenty five million dollar years. Um, she's been an elite inner circle status 10 times and she's ranked number two in the Diamond Seminar and number eight in the nation. 
for the past 30 years, she has been treated to luxurious trips. And I'm just going to try to read some of these, but I'm not going to get to all of them. But she has circled the globe. Ireland, Dublin, England, Dublin, Bermuda, a cruise, 14th day in New York's Four Seasons. How many of you like to do that? Hello. Um, Munich, Germany, Vienna, Austria, Greek Island cruise, side trip to Madrid, a beautiful trip to Paris, France, Milan, Italy, Costa de Sol, Spain, Lisbon, Portugal, 12 days in Hawaii, Maui, and Kauai. Let's just see all the islands in Hawaii while we're there. Switzerland, Venice, her national sales director trips have included cruising the Mediterranean, windsurfing in Rome, um, going to Venice, traveling to Greece, the Greek Island, pampering cruises, uh, she's been in France, chartered Baltic cruises to Copenhagen, Denmark, Sweden, Stockholm, Sweden, Estonia, St. Petersburg, Russia, <laughs> luxury stay in Prague, Four Seasons. I mean, how many Four Seasons can you stay at? All of them, right? Um, and back into Maui. This is one of my favorite things in here. In London, she was with her NSA sisters, NSD sisters, and recorded in Abbey Road Studio Number 2 like where the Beatles were recording. Isn't that so fun? Can you imagine a lifestyle like that? So there's many more, but she was in the July of 1994. Pam was awarded the annual Miss Go Give in our company, and that is voted on by peers and her most prestigious award. As a top director, her unit was number one in the state of Florida for four years and then moved to Kentucky, and, you know, she took number one in Kentucky as well. Um, number 10 internationally for six years. Uh, she's been one of the company's highest paid directors and her largest check in one month is over $64,000 in one month, 30 years of six-figure income, and she's been recognized for having a career earnings of an in excess of, ready, hold on to your seat, $9 million. She's uh, partnered with corporate staff and has been in uh, the International Marketing and Sales Advisory Boards, which is another very high honor in our company to help them with decisions that they make for the sales force. Okay, so earlier you heard Amy talk about nationals and how many areas, um, how many people are in their areas. So she has over 100 directors in her Epic family. That's her other spinoff director, uh, spinoff nationals as well. And over 3,000 beauty consultants worldwide, not just in America, but worldwide. Pam loves to work out. She loves to cook. She likes shared with family time, creating experiences and memories. She's right. She loves to write and create meaningful content and tools to make a difference. We're all very, very familiar with her design your life equipment that she um, uses to empower men and women to define their to live their best life now. Um, teaching this business and touching the lives of others has truly been the most re rewarding aspect of her career. And what Pam loves the most. And that's what Pam loves the most. Sorry. So that's what Pam loves the most is just teaching about this business. Prior to losing his battle to ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease in December 2006, Pam was married to Jerry Shaw for 15 years, during which they worked this business together. Pam's a proud mother of their 26-year-old son, Thomas, who was born in 1994 in Dallas at Seminar. <laughs> welcome. Would you help give a Kansas City welcome from Bowling Green, Kentucky, Executive National Sales Director, Pam Shaw. Roxy, thank you so much. <laughs> I'm so honored. I'm so honored to be with you guys. And I want to say congratulations to each of you who moved up, took a career path role during this crazy time that we've shared in COVID, all of our star consultants. It's just so fun to celebrate you. And I want to thank you, especially to our guests who got on tonight. You know, our Mary Kay world, we speak a different language. We, we roll a different way. And so thank you for being on. Maybe you were bribed with a Mary Kay perk, or maybe you just got on out of curiosity. Many of you got on to hear more about this essential business that has a 57 year success track record. Maybe you heard that our metrics for growth are surpassing one of our heftiest growth decades, which was 1997 to 2007, and we're surpassing that. And you want to jump on the amazing momentum. Never before have we been able to reach more people from the comfort of home than now, based on the virtual way we can share our product and our opportunity. But regardless of the reason you got on, as a favor, you got on out of integrity because you said you would, or because of your genuine and personal interest. So 
thank you. Your presence tonight is an encouragement to your independent beauty consultant. And often it's that one encouragement she needed to go the next distance in her own business advancement. Women lifting other women, encouraging others, celebrating others. That's who we are. And that's what we do as a culture, a way of life. So I want to ask you to consider three questions for contemplation tonight before I start us off. In your current job and lifestyle, do you have all the flexibility that you need in your life? Number two, when you bring your best, are you praised for a job well done? And number three, if for the next five years you gave everything you could to your current job, could you radically change your financial situation, create wealth and long-term security? Because in Mary Kay, you can, and we have testimony after decade of testimonies, both track record and right now success stories to say, yes, we offer all three of these as an opportunity. So if you said no to one or you're not sure, tune into the possibility and consider starting chapter one of your Mary Kay story tonight. What an interesting time we've experienced together this season in the history of our world. I do pray this finds you and your family and your loved ones safe, full of hope and encouragement for today and the future and a sense of security. Before we continue, let me thank you again for supporting your consultant's small business. Every beauty consultant is a small business owner and your small or large skincare purchase, color purchase, your presence on here is an encouragement to her and her business growth. You may already know that women control 80% of all purchasing decisions. When you choose to wash your face with Mary Kay, your purchase supports her as she supports her family her local community. When you wash your face with Mary Kay, you're making a difference for a female business owner, her hopes and her dreams, and you grow the local economy and you're supporting a company designed by a woman for women. For many of our consultants, this is how they pay bills, rent, mortgage, or build hopes and dreams for their families and for others in giving. The connection is real and it's invaluable and the delivery of our products is a convenience to you. We make the delivery of our products happen at the convenience of our customers, safe and immediate deliveries to your door, in your mail. When you start a Mary Kay business with Mary Kay, you're an independent contractor and run a from home business. In the past six months, our business has been 99% virtual. And for many individually, as well as corporately, it grew exponentially during COVID. Our company was founded by Mary Kay Ash 57 years ago on Friday, September 13th in 1963, Dallas, Texas. Built on a wildly confident belief in the power within each woman, the values of golden rule, no territories. We're currently in over 40 countries, have over 1,400 patents on our products, and over 57 million donated by Mary Kay Inc. and the Mary Kay Charitable Foundation since 2001 to help prevent cancers that affect women and domestic violence. We love our pink bubble and we can't help but want to share it. What we do is learned <laughs> and I'm still learning. I just celebrated my 34th year anniversary this past April. Before Mary Kay, I was a high school English and dance teacher in Southern Florida when I said yes. Libby, my roommate, had started her Mary Kay business and she happily appeared one day on the beach a little later than my other roommate, Candy, and I expected her. When she got to the beach, we asked her where she'd been and she explained that she'd been to a Mary Kay party and that she was a new Mary Kay independent beauty consultant, to which I was horrified. I knew of this little lady who drove a Pete Cadillac in my small town in Kentucky and it wasn't exactly what I saw my friend doing. Sure enough, right behind that, her director, I called her Happy Nancy, started calling her house because she was always so happy. And I was thinking, you know, gosh, there's more trouble in the world. This woman needs to watch the news. Of course, I had it all wrong. This was all during the Great Recession of 1986 with 16% unemployment and large government debt. I'd never sold anything and I didn't want to. But Libby invited Candy, my other roommate, and I to go to her Star Consultant Awards. They were celebrating the quarterly stars. And in person, they did this with ribbons, which I thought was a little silly because I went to the meeting and there was happy Nancy and all the people applauding each other. And they're like, let's hear it for Kara. She just had a thousand dollar week. I'm like, what do you mean she had a thousand dollars? Stole a thousand or what, what do you mean thousand? Okay. Let's hear it for Libby. She's a Ruby star. I'm like, oh my gosh, she's getting a ribbon because in Kentucky we have county fairs and at our county fairs, cows get ribbons. And so I was like, not really sure about what they were doing. I did not want to sell Mary Kay. I was an educator. I had a college degree. 
But you know what? As I watch these women cross that stage for their sales and their applause and their accomplishments and on target to, for the use of a career car, what I did want to get was out of debt. I had been teaching at that point for four years and I had a $16,000 personal debt making $19,000 a year. I did want more flexibility. I did want positive girlfriends and female mentors. And I did want a business coach. I didn't know that I needed all of that, but I learned right away. After I started my Mary Kay business, I still wasn't all in. I went ahead and got my starter kit, the only requirement to get started. And today, right now, you can get started either with just a, a web only business, virtual only with your website and uh, uh, the processing fees, or you can get the starter kit and the web uh, address. I mean, you can make money while you sleep in essence through your, through your website. But my first party was not all that. I just took in my box. I didn't open my starter kit. I just took in my box to my hostess Carol's house. Then I said, oh, Carol, what should we do? She goes, well, it looks like we should open it up. <laughs> so we opened up the box and we put something out for everyone. And I opened up my flip chart, which I thought was supposed to tell me exactly what to say. And I said, Carol, what does it say? And she says, there are five steps to skincare. I'm like, great, what are they? <laughs> she said, flip the page. Anyway, they bought about $450 that day. And I got in the car and I thought, wow, I was really good. I'm a natural, which is not true because it is a learned skill, just like everything else. I sold everything that I had bought that summer. And the problem was that before my last year teaching, um, I spent both my profit and the, the, pro the amount to reinvest in products. And so I virtually checked it off my list. I was like done until I walked into school that fifth year. I want you to think about the smells of your high school, your elementary school. I walked in and all those familiar smells and I looked around and I thought, I don't see anybody that I even like. What am I doing here? And I felt the Lord whisper to my heart, get out of here, get out of here. I'm like, no, I left Kentucky. You don't leave Kentucky and, and I'm under a contract. Um, I want to teach. I want to speak. I want to write. And I felt the Lord speak to my heart. You're going to teach. You're going to speak. You're going to write, but you're going to have to get out of here. You know, I'm a big proponent of getting it in the whisper because God will give you a whisper. He will give you a roar. And I was listening in the whisper, but I stayed. I stayed and I approached the fifth and most difficult year of my life. And in that year, my final year teaching, I did transition into building a business with Mary Kay, sustainable business with product and team building, became an independent sales director. And uh, during that window, was able to walk away from education. You know, I've worked this business for many seasons. I was single during that season. And then I uh, shortly afterwards met and married the love of my life. Um, we had our first and only son that we uh, moved from Florida back to Kentucky. Um, Roxy mentioned it in my accolades, but when Jerry was 40, um, he passed away from complications from ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease. Left me at that time with my 12 year old son, um, pre, pre, pre tween. Um, and then what followed that was another long journey of widowhood and addiction for my son, addiction and recovery. Praise God today. He is, he is sober. He is healthy. 17 months in a great direction with a great job. But my Mary Kay company and my Mary Kay tribe was there for me. The financial, the emotional support. I don't know what I would have done in a, from a different position. What I value most are the philosophies that we live by with God first, family second and career third. You know, difficulty is a respecter of no person. It doesn't matter how you were raised. It doesn't matter what you value. Difficulties come to all of us. Um, but I'm so grateful that on my own journey, the Mary Kay family, the Mary Kay philosophies, the Mary Kay success pathway was there to support me, you know, personal and leadership growth. I, I cannot imagine what I would have gained in any other genre, being able and having the privilege and blessing of mentoring other leaders who multiply leaders, um, honoring the individual strengths of other people. We are not cookie cutters of each other. The closest we get is wearing the same jacket <laughs> uh, and for our career path level, but being in a position to really elevate and maximize someone else's strengths and watch her grow and shine. The rewards that I've walked away with throughout the journey, it's, it's humbling to listen to and it's almost an out of body experience, but the, the ability to speak, to travel, um, to write, 
you know, the flexibility that Mary Kay has lavished on me, the exotic culture of Dubai, a Vespa excursion in the middle of Rome through the back roads of Italy to arrive at the Colosseum from a secluded viewpoint, a luxurious stay on Lake Como with a private boat ride to Bellagio, Monte Carlo at the Hotel de Paris while setting up for the Grand Prix, a private speedboat excursion to Cannes during the film festival. Had I hyper-focused on my fears, real or perceived challenges, instead of digging in and rising up, those would never, I would never have experienced and more. I'm so grateful for the financial security, for the family security program that is in front of me. You know, a recent CBS survey revealed that 43 to 44% of all people are looking for a side hustle. And Forbes projects that 79 million people will open up a small business within the next five years. I'm guessing that number has gone up and will raise again radically in post pandemic times. Worldwide, only 13% of adults are engaged in what they do. And a poll in 2015 found that 70% of people hate their jobs. According to the Carnegie Institute of Technology, 85% of your financial stress is due to your personality and ability to communicate, negotiate, and lead. Only 15% is due to technical knowledge. People follow examples, not advice. Our company is solidly grounded on principles of leading by example, personal growth as a way of life, endless possibilities to move up and on your own timetable of willingness to work, learn, get out of your comfort zone to step into a preferred vision of your future, one that you define for yourself with a mentor who has your back and your process. Every amazing and significant journey starts with a single step. One step in the Red Sea, one step towards the promised land, one step on the raging waves, one step towards your biggest faith vision of this year. 2020 is not over. We all have a vision of something before it becomes real. Dreaming big means being happy with yourself in the present moment while maintaining a clear vision of a future reality, which is a grand recipe for manifestation. Oh, we would love to have you. So what are we looking for? What are you looking for and what are we looking for? Well, first of all, we are looking for women who have basically four qualities and I'm going to tell you what they are. So if you have these four qualities and you heard something that attracts you tonight, you will never know unless you give it a try, right? First and foremost, we're looking for people who like other people. <laughs> Ours is a people business. So if you're thinking, well, I can't think of anybody that I even like right now, you know, I'm glad I'm at home. I don't want to see, I don't want to be around people. Can you remember a time when you used to like somebody? Because it is a people business and we do um, serve other people and, and elevate both their uh, cosmetic needs and, and their the support, the growth of their goals. So do you like people? Number two, um, we're looking for people who have integrity. You're a woman of your word. You said you would get on tonight and you did. You said you would watch and you are. The third thing we're looking for, we're looking for someone who has a giant on the inside screaming to get out. You know that there's more to you, more talent, more ability. It's gone untouched, untapped. In fact, you forgot what it's like to dream big. You forgot what it's like to set goals. And so what you have that Mary Kay offers is um, a coach, a guide, a mentor, your independent sales director to support you and clarifying what those dreams look like and supporting you in a pathway to get there. So do you have that, that giant on the inside screaming to get out? And the last and most important quality of all of them, we're looking for decisive women. You know, I live in Kentucky where we talk slower and with a little bit of a slang and a lot of people aren't, don't, aren't considered very decisive. They're like, well, let me, let me just think about this. I need to ask my husband. <laughs> and certainly I would support uh, making a family decision, but in reality, Decisive is simple, you know, to start a business in Mary Kay, it's around 100. And when you think about how many Starbucks in a year or a month, when you think about what you spent on Amazon last month, when you think about where $100 goes, you know, $100 is not going to make or break, but it absolutely could change the trajectory of your life. The check that I wrote back in 1986 was $89.25. So it hasn't gone up all that much. I remember looking at my checkbook balance after I wrote that check and there was a, about there were about one hundred and twenty five dollars in my bank account when I deducted the eighty nine twenty five from it. What I think today, 34 years later, is what if I hadn't? What if I hadn't? I'm so grateful 
that I did. And I certainly want to invite you tonight to make that same decision. So I'm going to turn it back over to Susan because they're going to give away uh, a, a, in a drawing and Susan's going to let you know uh, how that's going to work. So I just want to say again, thank you so much for being on tonight. Um, I hope your decision is yes. And if not, let me thank you again for being an encouragement to the person who brought you. Maybe if it's not for you, maybe you're going to be a talent scout for her down the road. But if it is for you, say yes. You won't be sorry you did. We have an amazing company, with an amazing culture, with an amazing history, and we'd love to have you. So God bless you. Godspeed and keep shining brightly. Now stay tuned because Susan's going to tell you how to get your name in the drawing. Well, thank you so much, Pam. I know that if we were all there in person, we all be clapping super loud and giving like standing ovations. So thank you very, very much for sharing your heart and your story and your journey. We thank you so much. Well, you guys, uh, we're going to wrap up, but I want to tell you how to get all the freebies. So first and foremost, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to look at the options. Okay. Just like Pam talked about, there's a full starter kit that's $100 plus tax and shipping, or there's an e-start kit for $30 or there's the full starter kit for 130. And what we would love for you to do if you're a guest is to text your consultant back either A, B, or C, um, like right after I explain what A, B, and C are. And if you don't text her back, she doesn't get credit for you being on tonight. And if you don't text her back, she'll probably text you because she wants to get credit and she'll be like, hey, what are you? Uh, so here's the deal. A's are, if you're an A, you are like, absolutely, this is totally for me. What the heck? It's 30 or 100 or 130. I'm going to give it out there, put it out there, see what happens. I know there's coaching, teaching, and training and mentoring for me, and I know that I'll be great at this. Okay, that's an A. A, a is absolutely send me the link. I'm ready to sign up. And if you're an A, you're going to not only get the great kit, but you also are going to get entered into a drawing for a $100 pink stimulus package that can go towards your startup. OK, and what you'll do is after you get the link, you'll fill it out. You'll have a consultant number and then your new sales director will be filling out the little entry for that. And directors, you'll find it in your director boxer when we're finished here. If you are a B, you are saying, you know what? This is kind of interesting, but I would definitely have some questions that I'd need to get answered. And your consultant then knows to connect with you to answer some questions with you. If you are a C, that's like, call me a great customer. I love you. I love Mary Kay, but I'm okay paying full price or better yet. I might want to get a discount or get it for free by having a party or um, giving you some referrals or something like that. So you're going to text your consultant A, B, or C right now. Okay. Don't forget if you don't text your consultant, she should get credit. So your consultant can also text you back and say, Hey, what are you? A, B, or C? Uh, Cause she's going to be on pins and needles wondering if you're going to be a part of her team or if you're going to stay a great customer. And you know what gang, <laughs> we need customers too. So that's okay. Wherever you're at. The next thing you're going to do after you do that is you're going to want to text the number at the bottom here. You can see it kind of scrolling across. It says all guests, please text the word Cadillac to 816-282-2115. And you're going to be entered into a drawing for either a gorgeous black leather backpack. It's a coach bag or a beautiful pink Kate Spade satchel. Okay. And you get a pick and whichever one you don't pick, then one of the star consultants is going to actually, I think it was Laura that earned that or that won that tonight. So we'll let you get first did since you're our guest tonight. Okay. And so that will be for the get the, the handbag giveaway. So every single guest, no matter if you're at A, B or C, just for being on tonight, text the number 816-282-2115. You just have to text the word Cadillac. OK, and then it'll shoot you to a little form to fill out so that you can get into the drawing for the free bag. So whether you're an A, B or C, you get into the drawing for the free bag just for being our guest tonight and letting us share the Mary Kay story with you. If you're an A, don't forget, you're absolutely I'm totally getting started. Send me the link. I want to get in on the pink stimulus package of 100 bucks cash. If you're a B, don't forget, that's like, mm, but I've got a few questions here and a C is call me a great customer. OK, and uh, without further ado. We're wrapping up. So you guys, thank you so much for chiming in tonight. Thank you for being on. And we so appreciate you letting us share our Mary Kay story with you. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> 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 <
Roll the credits. 